I actually, I, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, President Obama while he was still in office. Probably one of the craziest experiences I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I was, came out of nowhere, came out of nowhere. I, I was at The Daily Show, I was in my office and I got a phone call from the administration. And someone on the other end was like, hi Trevor, would you like to interview the President of the United States in the White House? And I was like, uh, do you ask stupid questions? <laughs> He's like, of course I want to meet the president of the United States. Are you serious? And um, the day finally came, went to DC with my TV crew, and they set us up in a room which is literally opposite the Oval Office. We put all our cameras in place, and all we're doing now is waiting for the president to arrive. So we're staring at the door with bated breath. And the reason we're staring is because they don't give you an exact time of the president's arrival for his safety, right? So they just give you a window, like the cable guy. So we're all waiting there, listening to every footstep, every moment. And then he just popped in behind us, scared the shit out of everybody. <laughs> yeah, because there's a secret door, but they don't tell you, again, for safety, right? So we're staring at that door, and all of a sudden, he was like, uh, hello, and I was like, ah! <laughs> but I, I had a great time in the interview with him. He was really, really kind to everyone in the room, and, and then we turned off the cameras, and I, I promise you, he became even nicer. We just had a conversation. I thought he was gonna leave. I mean, he's president of the United States. You gotta go do something. And he just chilled for a bit, you know, and we spoke as human beings, and it went really well until he turned to me and he said, uh, Trevor, you know, I, uh, actually, I got, a, I got a show that I'm doing in a few weeks, a little, uh, little thing that I thought maybe you'd want to pop by and uh, perform, if you don't mind. I said, Mr. President, I would, I would be honored. You just let me know when and where. What, what, what's the show going to be for, sir? He said, oh, well, Trevor, I'm doing a little thing for my aides, and I thought uh, maybe you'd want to be there. I said, I, I would love to. Thank, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, a show for what? He said, for my AIDS, Trevor. He said, uh, you have AIDS? <laughs> and then, and then he, he explained what he meant. And I wanted the earth to swallow me whole. <laughs> because I had just looked at the President of the United States <laughs> and asked him if he had AIDS. <laughs> and you know what the worst thing is, is that he was nice to me as well? Because I said that and then he explained and then I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. President, I didn't mean that. I, I don't even know why I thought it's just like you said AIDS and like the AIDS, and, you know, because here's the thing, in my defense, in my defense, right, I get it now. He means AIDS as in the White House AIDS, the people who help the president. I get it now, but in, in my defense, where I'm from, AIDS is some other shit that doesn't help anybody. <laughs> no one in Africa is walking around like, let me introduce you to my AIDS, huh? So now I'm here and I'm frazzled. I'm like, Mr. President, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. You don't, you don't, you don't have AIDS. You definitely, and even if you did have AIDS, there's nothing wrong with having AIDS. There's no stigma. We can still be cool. I, I'm just, actually, I don't even know why I'm saying this. I'm so sorry. And he's like, Trevor, Trevor, uh, calm down. Trevor, uh, Trevor, Trevor, calm down. I was like, so I'm so sorry, Mr. President. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said I'm probably the dumbest person you've ever met, Mr. President. He's like, no, Trevor, Trevor, calm down. I'm, I'm the dumbest person you've ever met. He's like, no, Trevor. That's not true. Uh, I've met Trump. <laughs> 